When Susan Ruff's husband, Don, entered a memory care community for dementia, she was grateful his doctor helped her find care as well. You can't explain it. I mean, you can people say, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm sorry and I, you know, I know what you're going through. They don't. They don't. I mean, it's, you go to these groups and they get you. She was part of a group study focused on caregivers, and though it transformed her ability to connect with her husband, she realized how rare it was. I don't know if there's any resources out there that can fill this gap of, you know, helping people more. The goal would be to take a study like this, you know, if it shows to be effective, and then to actually get it and implement it on a wide scale basis. Professor Joseph Gogler says the National Institute on Aging's new Impact Collaborative will help all kinds of new dementia studies reach more people. The U of M just received an $800,000 grant to develop better ways to deliver health care for patients and families, and they'll collaborate with more than 30 other research teams across the country, receiving more than $53 million combined. It's trying to improve and enhance the type of care that's delivered to someone who has dementia. And that's important, and that's what families struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. Susan says things like art therapy are helping her husband, and group therapy is helping her, and she can't wait to learn more. It keeps you moving forward.